Hey everyone, Bricks to John here of Club Brick. Today we're going to take a look at a Lego Ideas project by a member of our Discord server. He goes by Mr. Morgoon if you're a member of Discord server. The Lego Ideas you'll find him is um, Brickman911. And his project is Mega Man 1987. For any um, Mega Man fans here, you'll see a lot of very familiar faces. We got Mega Man, we got Cut Man, uh, we got Guts Man in back. Let's see if I can remember all the other names. I think it listed down below. I have some guesses, but I don't want to guess wrong. So we got Mega Man, Dr. Wily, Cut Man, Fire Man, Ice Man, Guts Man, Bomb Man, Electric Man, and the Yellow Demon. Awesome. There's very good likenesses of all of them we can see here. Of a nice little display piece to show Mega Man 1987. So I believe, was that when the first Mega Man game came out? We have Dr. Wily and his Wily capsule. So that would be Iceman there. That would be Cut Man. That would be Guts Man. Mega Man. Uh, Fire Man? Holding fire right there? I can't quite see these two apart from here. Probably some more better views down below. And here's Dom, Yellow Demon, which I believe you can see in the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate stage. It's like a stage hazard. A lot of people like to turn that one off. So, um, if you're unfamiliar with LEGO Ideas, basically you have to get, to, I believe it's 10,000 supporters to be considered to be an official LEGO set. So, Brickman could actually be a real LEGO creator and get his um, set in LEGO stores. But only if he gets enough votes to do it. And I believe when you get certain um, milestones of supporters, you get more days extended. Like he has 53 days left, but that could go up if he gets a certain amount of supporters. So he just needs as many people as possible to hit support if you want to see this become a real set. If it's a 10,000, he'll be just like a review and have a chance. We can see a closer look at. Okay, now we can tell him about a little better. So that's got to be Fireman, Iceman, Electric Man, just Bomb Man? Or is there a better name? Bomb Man, yeah. Mega Man wasn't the most creative bomb there, robot names. Here we can see Mega Man himself, Dr. Wily, Cut Man, and Guts Man. These two, if I remember from the cartoon from the late 80s, um, they were kind of like the recurring villains in every single episode. It's like, eh, I don't know what to compare them to. Like, um, there's always like a robot of the week kind of, it'd be like the main threat, but these two are always there as kind of like little psychic henchmen. Gutsman always like the cliche little dumb villain henchman. Cutman was like almost purely just like a utility in the sense that um when you saw him you knew there was going to be some purpose that Mega Man could copy his cut ability and cut a wire or something like that. But yeah, a lot of laughs I had out of that show way back when. And here we see the old demon and the Wily capsule. And these are projectiles they can shoot out or there might be a stand to hold it in the air. Let me see. Uh, let's see. I'm not positive of that part. Stand here is clear. It could even be a projectile or a stand to hold it up. Let's look down here and see what um, Brickman has to say. The Mega Man 1987 set is based on the original game that released December 17, 1987. Okay, so that was the release date of the first game. I built this set because Mega Man is such a popular video game icon nowadays, and I just wanted to spread the love of Mega Man worldwide. I believe this will make a great set because there are many fans around the world who enjoy Mega Man. I think this is a great homage to the original game that many fans will love and appreciate. This set contains 1,084 pieces and comes with nine iconic, simplistic, brick-built figures. Mega Man, Dr. Wily, Cut Man, Fire Man, Ice Man, Guts Man, Bomb Man, Electric Man, and the Yellow Demon. The only vehicle in the set is Dr. Wily's capsule. The capsule fe play features include two spring-loaded missiles, launchers, and two stud shooters. Okay, so those are projectiles you can shoot out. This is all for now. I'll make sure to come back with more updates along the way. And to all LEGO friends around the world, uh, build the world into a better place. Happy building. So very cool. Great job in this. I think it's a great time for it. Maybe a little bit late, but great time for it in the sense that um, this attention on Mega Man of um, Super Smash Brothers. Also, if you want to give them any feedback, this is some um, private feedback here, so you don't have to feel like you're obligated to get five stars just to help them out. Um, this is actually just um, a private feedback he can get. You can tell him um, what he could do better. And I'm not sure if you can leave a comment with it or not. You can leave comments down below. Is it here? Oh, nope. It's in the comments tab here. What's the load? Nobody? Oh, there it is. Some people liking the Yellow Devil. Some Mega Man fans are finding it. 
but yeah, it hasn't quite got the attention it needs yet because this is a very, very impressive um, likeness of all the characters. And obviously, to include every robot mouse because you want to um, choose your um, a correct balance between being very concise and being very detailed with these. Because if you use too many pieces, Lego might be less likely to actually choose it to build a set because it's impractical. No one's going to want to buy it for so much money that it would cost to use all those pieces. But you want to have enough details and get people excited and want to support it too. Very cool. So 35 supporters so far, 53 days left. So make sure to give it your support. Last thing I want to check, is there an update out now? Or is that just the original post? Okay, so you answered a question here. Why use brick built figures? For anyone asking, I use brick built figures format because I saw that fit best for the 8-bit retro design of the original game. I think it turned out well for the set in general. Oh, okay. That actually didn't occur to me how I didn't choose to use um, minifigures. That does make a lot of sense, actually, though, because they're so, like, pixely and 8-bit in the original games. They look better as block figures. I think it would have been a little bit of, like, a stretch to try to make these all look as minifigures. But I wouldn't be unhappy to see, if, like, especially even if um, Lego partnering with Nintendo for the Mario sets, if we had some, like, Mega Man play sets that did include... Um, minifigures as well because this could be more of like a display piece separate from like the place that's it of like a Mega Man minifigure but yeah that's Mega Man 1987 by um Brickman 911 so make sure to give me support you can find the link to Lego Ideas project in the description and yeah let's keep our fingers crossed that he can make it all the way to Lego review